And so when people tell me like, you work too much, you don't care about your kids, I'm like, F you, you know, like you, you have no idea. You really have no idea. I can't move. Yes, you can't move. <laughs> were calling me a bad mom for leaving my marriage. People were calling me a bad mom because I was traveling so much for work. People were calling me a bad mom because I co-parenting my only with my kids half the time. And at first I was like, yeah, these comments don't like affect me. But honestly, like after repetitive comments over and over again, sometimes they do. And at one point I'm like, am I actually a bad mom? That's so funny. She is just the quirkiest person ever. Colette's birthday was so cute. I always feel a little sad that I miss her real birthday because it always falls during Paris Fashion Week. But she's really into art, so we took her to Color Me Mine. And she is really into painting and drawing, so that's all she wanted to do. She said that she just wanted to paint for her birthday and she had the best time I made it I can't believe this girl is five it's crazy I think after my divorce I really just disconnected myself from what I thought I was valued for like what I thought I represented after living with my parents for about two and a half years my mom did everything for us she cooked, she cleaned, she you know, made the kids lunches, she did the laundry, she woke up early so she could make sure that breakfast is prepped. That was when I was like, I need to live on my own. Like, as much as I love my parents, it's almost as if I'm using them as a crutch. So when I moved out, that was a point where I was like, okay, I want to reclaim myself as a mother. The past few months that I've been living in our new house, which I will give you guys a little tour, I, I've been able to reclaim that and it feels really, really good. The kids are upstairs and everything ready. Whoa. It's so smooth. Is it good? Come down, I have your smoothie. I'm eating your bagel, okay? Come on, I'm eating yours. Oh, you're eating mine. Mm. Okay, let's take care of this kid. Mom, there's a dead spider right here. And so I feel like we're just like a little team here in this house. It's just like me and the girls. It's funny because I grew up with my mom primarily my, my parents are still married they never got a divorce they're always together but my dad was gone i would say three weeks out of the four week month usually in asia because his work took him to asia a lot at one point it got too much where we all had to move to asia but i remember for at least about a decade my dad was not home at all my dad was out there working and we never questioned that he never got shit about being out there working and not being able to see his kids. Do you miss working? Interestingly, no. <laughs> not at all. We were so worried about you when you first retired that you're gonna have like withdrawal. Yeah, we were There's all nervous. <laughs> I know. My mom didn't get any praises for being at home all the time while my dad was working. It's interesting because I have so much responsibility now. I not only take care of my kids, myself, but now my parents. You know, my both of my parents are retired. I just bought them a house. How's the new house, Amma? Beautiful and... So and good. Yeah. So good. Thank you. It's you very cozy. Brother. How does it feel being in your new home now? Uh, everything is so thankful. Uh, and it's blessed. And uh, I'm very yeah. happy. 
also my ex-husband and his expenses. <laughs> I want him to have a good life, by the way. If my kids are able to have the life, a, an amazing life with their dad because of my successes and my hard work and my kids benefit from that, then we all win, right? We all win. We're all still a family in that sense. So there's no negative feelings there. And so it's just, it's a lot of responsibility. So do I have time to actually check out and be like, okay, I can't, I, I decided I'm not gonna take this job that's on the other side of the world because I, I just don't want to. I can't because I have so much responsibility. There's so many people relying on me and I think people don't understand that. And so when people tell me like, you work too much, you don't care about your kids, I'm like, Fuck you. You know, like you, you have no idea. You really have no idea. So welcome to my new home. I love it so much. I do. On an aesthetic standpoint, it had everything that I've always wanted to do to my house, which was like the arched doorways and the hallways. It's a little bit of a, a rustic goth Spanish style. It also has a really amazing space for my office. The girls have their own room. The girls are so excited about their own room. And I, I realized that because they, they've shared a room for the past few years, they were craving for their own sacred space, especially Chloe as she's getting older. Colette doesn't make my room messy and her room's super messy. Is that true, Colette? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the exact home that I need at this moment and I feel so, so grateful that I have the ability to raise my family in this house, so. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys a mini, mini, mini tour of just like Chloe and Colette and a few other spaces, so let's go. This is Chloe's room. She was sharing a bunk bed with her sister for the longest time and she was just so excited to get a single girl bed. She calls it her adult bed because all the adults sleep on like a single bed. How do you like your new bed? You look like a little princess. So most of this stuff, including this light, is from Pottery Barn. She's obsessed. Like this light gives me all the teenage vibes and it's kind of freaking me out. She loves having pictures of herself and mirrors, just like her mom. Let's see what Chloe has in here. She said this is all of her favorite beauty products as of now. So this is a Make Serum Balm, which is also my favorite. She has an Aquaphor Lip Repair, very practical. A Sun Bum Kids SPF 50. We need to do something about her doll situation though. I think she puts them all up on her bed and then when she goes to bed, she pushes them all off. So, gotta figure that out. Leave suggestions in the comments, please. Yes, please leave suggestions. Okay, her room is definitely a work in progress. We only have a bed so far. We're waiting for her desk. She didn't really make her bed today. Usually she makes her bed, but she loves this bed also from Pottery Barn. She slides down her little slide every morning. Not as clean as her sisters. She did a face mask last night. I think we could all tell who the artist is in the family. It's Colette. So it turns out that I'm not a bad mom at all. I'm actually a great mom. It's never too late to move out of your old place, your old space, and start over again. First night at the new house. How are you guys feeling? Amazing. Amazing. I think the key thing is not to be so attached. I think so many of us are so attached to what was or what could have been. And it's never too late to show love to your parents. And I feel like I, I achieved one of my biggest goals in life, which was to retire my parents. And it also is never too late to become the best version of yourself, to reclaim yourself, especially if you're not feeling great about how you're doing in your personal life. You can literally press the reset button and start over again. There's absolutely nothing stopping you except for 
your mind. It just takes one click and your mindset to be like, I'm gonna do this, I can do this. And that's all it takes really. And that's what I did. And I feel the most confident I've ever been. Yeah, it's never too late to, to show love and appreciation to the people that deserve it the most.